Hello and welcome to how to use breakpoints. So for breakpoints, you may be familiar with using print strings for debugging, but breakpoints are another tool you can use to debug your code. You may be familiar with breakpoints if you've done programming in other uh, software and other languages. Unreal has their own version too. So here I have a character and on this character I have this function when I push the one key to take a random value and output a, a new result to the screen. Let's say I want to bug fix this and I want to find out what's happening and where. Well, I can right click on any node and add a breakpoint. You see a little red dot up here to indicate this is now a breakpoint. So what will happen now is if I push play and nothing happens at the moment, but if I push the one key now, it will go along and hit the breakpoint telling it to stop and pause the game so you can look at what's going on. How is this useful? Well, this will help you identify whether or not a node is actually firing or not and it's actually been reached. It also allows you to just pause the game at that particular moment and check values. So let's say I want to double check the value that's going into here is what I want it and what I expect it to be. I can hover over this return value and it'll tell me here the current value is 2.932554. And that's going into my function here. Now when you do go into a breakpoint, you have various tools available to you at the top of this screen. You've got skip, stop, locate, step into, step over and step out. So if you want to skip ahead of the chain, you can hit the skip button and it will skip along to the next one and, and so on and so forth. And it'll take you back out. If you want to go into something, you can click step into. So this will go into the next node that is available for you to execute. So skip just tells it just to advance a single frame in the in the game code. But what step into will do is pause, is keep the game paused where it is, and just go into where uh, that function is uh, is doing something. So let's stop that and do that again. And push one. And there we go. If I click step into. The frame has stayed the same. It hasn't moved on. But my skip has moved on to, I can skip along and see various values as they are being changed. And I can click skip again to come out. Hit stop and it will carry on. Now if I play it again and hit the one key, uh, we have other functions called locate and step over and step out. So the locate is if you go to another screen because you're looking at something else, you hit the locate button and it will take you to wherever the breakpoint arrow is located. So it'll just take you back to where you are. So if you've double clicked on things and looked back and seen where you are, you hit the locate button, it'll take you back to where the breakpoint is actually stopped. If you click on step over, this will skip to the next node to be executed in the current graph. So if I click this, it'll go over to there. It won't go into this node. If I do step out, it'll come out of the current function. So let's go back into, uh, let's push play again and demonstrate that. If I go into here and do step into, I can check some functionality in here. I can go and skip it along. And if I'm happy with what I can do there, I can just step out and it'll take me out of there and skip along. Okay, so it's a nice way to control the navigation there. You can't go backwards because the game is running in the background. It'll just run the next frame along um, but there's other things you can do too for example you can watch values now as I showed earlier you can hover over these uh, pins to see the current value but if you want you can also right click on them and choose watch this value if you do this and then push play and we'll hit the breakpoint you can see the watching float value has now been printed to the graph you can see it here 4.915 and you can see it's the same value this gives us a nice, easy, quick glance to see what value is happening. And I can carry on with the breakpoint as needed. And if I want to resume the game, I just hit resume and the game continues as normal. Until I hit the button again. Like that. So breakpoints are very useful in controlling that flow and debugging your game. If you want to disable breakpoints, you can just right click back on the node and you can disable the breakpoint, which turns into a red circle rather than a full uh, red dot. This makes the breakpoint still there, but it's just disabled, so you don't have to worry about it firing off. Uh, so if you're doing some checks and you're happy with this code, you can click OK, skip and resume. And the next time you play it, it shouldn't um, 
oh, next time you push the one key, it won't affect and won't stop. But if I want to uh, go back into that code there, I can, if I'm happy with what I've got here, I can just right click on here and I can remove the breakpoint. I can also toggle it as well with F9. So it can be a quick shortcut just to go into there, hit F9 to toggle on and off the breakpoint. Okay. And that is breakpoints. And uh, check them out, they are useful for debugging lots of code. So check them out, it may help you. If you like this how-to and want to see more how-tos and other videos by me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can catch all my videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons, YouTube members and everyone who has subscribed. Thanks again for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.